The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, released a new SpaceX Starship environmental assessment, representing SpaceX Starship and Super Heavy plans for the next year. Are we going to see more than five launches next year? And how will Mechazilla work? We will find out in this video. There has been a lot of things going on in the space industry, so let us dive into this video. We can see this year ending. What does SpaceX have in plan for us in the next 12 months? Today, we are going to have a more detailed look into the orbital launch test phase. The not so long ago publicized Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA Environmental Assessment, has a collection of brand new information about SpaceX's plan for the next year. SpaceX's Starship 20 is resting on suborbital pad A and possibly waiting for better days. Lewis has been fighting the storm out for you, keeping his camera pointed at the sites as much as possible. On September 22nd, workers had to be evacuated from their work sites because of the weather. This slowed down the whole process, but it didn't keep SpaceX from moving forward. The chopstick carriage system received two extra hinges. Those are provided with ball bearings and will be a part of the guidance system. Progress and development on the chopsticks themselves are considerable as well. It will be a very large construction. The carriage system will have a firm grip on the tower at all times. The chopsticks are very significant since the integration tower is massive. Once attached to the tower, the catch system will be larger. The whole system will be given a powerful hydraulic actuator to be able to move more heavy loads from left to right. A very one kind of system, six months ago and we didn't know about it yet. How did we learn about this? The answer is SpaceX. SpaceX is very close to completing the construction, and there are a lot of other captivating bits of information to be found in the Federal Aviation Administration's assessment. It is in a public evaluation phase until October 18th, and the public is motivated to share their opinion. SpaceX is organizing five orbital launches per year. That is not as it was anticipated, especially as Elon Musk has stated before that Starships will launch hundreds of missions before flying people. Dear Moon is expected for 2023, and that will be the first time people fly on Starship. Where those launches will take place, if not in Boca Chica. That is also a sign that the Starship program might be postponed. If there are only five launches in the next year, those hundreds of launches would have to happen after that. There is also another location from which SpaceX is planning to do Starship launches. Starship Orbital Pad at Kennedy Space Center's Pad 39A. It hasn't been worked on for more than a year, but that is maybe because SpaceX doesn't know what it needs to look like in the end. Musk has established that the plan still is to launch Starships from the Cape, and that might be one of the countless reasons why the FAA assessment doesn't mention hundreds of launches out of Boca Chica. Another thrilling fact from the FAA assessment is the fact that SpaceX is discussing whether to integrate a flame diverter and a water deluge system into the Starship orbital launch mounts or not. SpaceX specified in the FAA environmental assessment that they plan to launch out of Boca Chica and from their sea launch platform 19 miles out from the coast. Seeing the Boca Chica star base from above and also measuring a distance of 19 miles, that is where Deimos would be located at. SpaceX specifies that Deimos wouldn't be attached to the seafloor and that it would stay mobile. Since the oil rig design that SpaceX bought for this venture, a floater design, it is a perfect fit for the description. The FAA assessment also declares that SpaceX plans to move landed Starships and Super Heavy boosters into Port Brownsville via a barge. SpaceX presents autonomous drone ships are alleged barges and they're based on the Marmac 303. The Marmac 303 measures 91 meters in length and 30 meters in width and can support and carry over 10,000 tons on deck. A Super Heavy booster only weighs circa 220 tons when empty and a Starship around 120. It could carry the whole stack in theory. Still, the current autonomous drone ships would likely be able to fulfill the task. Once arrived at Port Brownsville, the rest of the trip back to Starbase would be along Highway 4. Furthermore, SpaceX is also considering to land ships on islands in the Pacific Ocean once capabilities improve further. Systems are being worked all the time, and they've added flexible fuel lines to the quick disconnect arm attached to the mount itself. The next thing we're going to talk about is what to expect in the next 12 months, and we are going to put side to side Booster 4 with Booster 5. Is there going to be a lot of action in Boca Chica that we can look forward to? And what is the difference about Booster 5? The five orbital launches might be disappointing to you. To give you some outlook, let's investigate what's in store for SpaceX and for us. SpaceX plans, at least for the next 12 months, 
to include up to 20 suborbital launches, including starships and super heavy boosters and to high altitudes. Apart from the fact that there are only five orbital launches planned and up to 20 suborbital ones, there's another thrilling fact. SpaceX also plans to launch super heavy boosters without a starship. So we'll see the boosters go up all alone also. We'll have 25 probable launches in the next year. If SpaceX is capable of doing this, there will be an unbelievable amount of action in Boca Chica. Continual prototype construction, testing static fires, and launches conducted on a bi-weekly basis. Constant iteration of the design and continuous improvement of the manufacturing capabilities. SpaceX also refers that most launches will end up in the water and that many of those won't even be recovered. They say, though, that we'll see at least five super heavy landings in the sea launch platform. Plans and schemes for the second integration tower and orbital launch have also been established once more. So the construction efforts at the launch site won't end either. The cranes will remain. The work will continue at an ever-increasing pace. In the long run, SpaceX is bringing up the Moon and Mars missions for Boca Chica. Lunar resupply missions will even make rapid launches obligatory. All this is planned for Boca Chica and SpaceX's Starbase. SpaceX is working constantly to make it happen. New ring segments are constantly being spit out of the larger tents at the construction site. Booster 5 has not long ago seen the common dome stacked on top of the lower oxygen tank and the stack at this moment is 18 rings tall. Booster 4 was primarily naked when it rolled onto the launch site for the very first time. Booster 5, on the contrary, has the whole raceway guide rails installed already. There won't be multiple rollouts to the launch site with the brand new booster. It will be done right out of the high bay. So, let's sum it up. We can look forward to tons of actions in the following 12 months. Kennedy Space Center might be doing hundreds of Starship launches, and in the worst case scenario, Dear Moon might be postponed as there might not be enough flights in the books by 2023. That is going to be everything for today's video. Thank you guys for staying with us until the end. See you in the next one. And as always, don't forget to click subscribe to our channel if you are willing to find out a lot more on these kinds of topics.